In this video, we're going to cover a square foot takeoff, and specifically we're going to give a weatherboard example. But really though, this tool can be used for things such as paint or wrap or cladding or render, or again, anything else that you need that square foot measurement. Now to start, I'm going to click on the finishing carpentry category, and when it pops open, I'm going to click on the edit button. And when I hit this takeoff button here, it's going to take me back to the plans and it's going to have a quick look at what I'm measuring because the units that I'm going to be measuring in will then dictate the takeoff tool that when we get to use. So for the example of square foot in this case, when I hit the button, it will then give me a square foot takeoff and it will then allow me to use the tools all to measure the square foot and go ahead and draw those. Now there's a bunch of different ways to do the same takeoff depending on what your preference is. But in this example, I'm going to use this page and I'm going to highlight the whole walls for the weatherboard. Now, if we had a floor plan, then we can still do the measurement using the line tool. And there is another video that covers that of the drawing uh, in vertical areas. But for now, I'm just going to zoom in and just drag it around, clicking the hold button, dragging where I want to go. And I'm going to use this polygon tool, which I think is one of the most useful shapes we have because it's really just about clicking in each individual category and it will then give you the necessary measurement. And of course, as we go through and use this tool, it's always important to remember that if we click somewhere we didn't mean to, it's totally okay. Just simply hit the escape button on your keyboard and it will undo your last click as you can see there. But I'm going to go through and click in each individual corners and making sure that when I want to finish, all you have to do is just simply go right back to the start, clicking in this green dot, and that's letting the system know that you're finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through that one. And again, you can do as many shapes as you want. So you can draw over multiple pages. So I might draw on these, go to another page and keep drawing. And all it does is just keeps adding that total up at the top right hand corner here. Now, when we use these takeoff tools, we're basically either adding or subtracting away. So in this example, we're gonna to wanna to remove the space that we calculated. Uh, we wanna remove windows and doors. And we have this little minus button up here. So when this is on, we're actually removing things. Uh, and I know that because it's changed the color here. Now, for windows and doors, my preference is usually to use the rectangle tool because it's really just two clicks versus the five clicks for the necessary size in the polygon. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm basically just clicking in opposite corners uh, and I'm not having to hold the mouse or anything like that. What I'm doing, I'm just sim simply clicking once to start and clicking again to finish. It's a really quick little tool. Um, and again, I'll just do another example here, the rectangle, I'm just gonna click once to start uh, and once more to finish. And basically I continue to go around. Um, again, really, really cool tool um, for needing to minus things out. And again, it will just keep that running total at the top right hand corner here. So I'll just do these windows really, really quickly, a few more examples. And of course, I should say that as I'm doing this um, for yourself, you'll find that the more you use it, uh, the better you'll become and the faster you'll go. All right, excellent, cool, great. So a uh, couple little odds and ends here. Um, again, if you need to undo a shape, you can simply undo the last shape using this undo button. If you need to wipe the whole entire slate or the whole page clean, you can use this button here. Also, you can click into the labels and there's a remove button. So if you need to remove individual shapes this way, very easy to do. And while we're in here, a very quick mention, you can also uh, rename individual labels if you choose to. But basically once I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna simply click the accept and save. And you'll notice now it puts in the quantity in here uh, and also will multiply it by the correct price. And that's my square foot takeoff done.